Jacksonville Trash Company Republic Services is firing back after the city said they broke the terms of their contract. The letter sent to the company says they failed to notify the city of more than a dozen spills in neighborhoods, failed to complete scheduled pickups, and failed to collect garbage on time. The city has charged the company over $200,000 in liquidated damages for more than 2,800 compliance issues since October of last year. The News 4 Jack's I team has interviewed multiple people who say they are routinely missed by Republic Services waste collectors. I've been out here about three years and we've had a lot of major issues with like yard debris and stuff like that being picked up. Um, sometimes it sits out here for a couple weeks. But in a letter to the city, the company attributes its failure to address customer service complaints to a lack of public awareness on disposal and diversion rules and says recently mechanical issues have exacerbated the collection challenges. The company says it has already replaced their older trucks. Another problem they addressed, the thousands of dollars in damage to garbage cans. The company blamed a former vendor they say provided faulty carts, resulting in 55,000 carts needing repair or replacement. I've probably had about four or five bins in the three years that I've been here. This Arlington mother says whatever the problem is, she's never experienced the issues with any other company. Clearly, they're not taking pride in the job that they're given to do, and it's making us as a community look bad, and I just wish they would tighten up. And the city is saying that this company has failed to meet several standards in the contract. Republic Services responded to every concern that the city outlined. We did reach out to the city to say if they are, in fact, reconsidering uh, their push forward to terminate this contract, possibly. And they told us they are still reviewing the response they got back from Republic Services. Reporting in downtown Jacksonville, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.